Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus as well as Boxy Charm. You guys know every single Sunday I usually upload my Shop My Sash video, but I just feel like my life is a little bit of a wreck at this moment, at this point in time. Uh, so I figured I won't do for this week, but I will definitely do one hopefully for next week. I'm also filming in this location because the lighting is pretty good. And also if you hear kids playing outside, my neighbor's kids are just playing outside. So hopefully it won't be too much of a distraction. So basically I love doing a versus video for Boxy Charm and Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Even though they're priced differently, Boxy Charm is 21 a month, Ipsy Glam Bag Plus is 25. I still feel like it's kind of a vibe to unbox them together. And also a lot of you guys told me that they're gonna be raising the price for Boxy Charm to 25 a month. So. I guess then it would make even more sense to kind of unbox them together, you know? But that's what we're gonna do in today's video. I will have my previous BoxyCharm reverse. <laughs> I will have my I will have my previous Boxy Charm versus Ipsy video down below in the description box. I will also leave my Ipsy Ultimate unboxing in the description box because I was very disappointed. And a lot of you guys did say you were kind of disappointed as well. But if you haven't watched it, I would love to know your feedback. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. I will have both of these linked down below. I don't know. I want to start off with Boxy Charm just because and I'm feeling you right now, okay? I obviously did not peek and I didn't see what's on the inside, but here is the card very cool and then here is how everything is packaged just like that and we have some goodies in the back there okay uh the first product that i see here is the steve laurent jelly highlighter which looks just like that really gorgeous and this is in cotton candy so pretty i could probably get down with this kind of shade let's let's touch it <gasps> yum this feels similar to like the cut whoa whoa it feels pretty similar to the ColourPop um, Super Shock highlighters and eyeshadows. This is an intense life, what I'm about 100%. I've never heard of this brand, but I am so excited to use this. I'll probably have to use it in the same way as I use like the ColourPop highlighters in a stippling motion as opposed to kind of like, you know, swiping it on. So excited and I love the color. This is the color that I live for. The next thing that I see in here is from Touch and Soul. I really, really love their No Pore Blend Primer. You guys know this if you watch me for quite some time. <laughs> This is the Glassy Pretty Fitter Glassy Skin Balm. I'm not exactly sure what that means. Ooh, one second, one second. Let's backtrack one minute. This highlighter on its own retails for $26. That's a lot. This Touch and Soul product is $32. It basically says that it's an ultra hydrating priming skin balm. It smooths texture, melts into your skin, and creates the ultimate glow that lasts throughout the day. So I'm assuming you would use this before you apply your makeup. Um, just for that like hydrated very healthy looking skin kind of glow like it just said expiration uh, we're good 06 2022 so we have about two years yeah this looks really good i love the packaging it's so cute yum it feels delicious and it smells so fresh so yummy <sighs> We can get down with this scent, not just me. I'm telling you, you guys would love it. So I'm very excited about that. I didn't even know that thing existed. The next thing we have is from Iconic London, and this seems like it's a gloss. I've been really curious about this brand, so I'm happy that this is included in here. Its original value is 26 bucks. It says it's a lip plumping gloss, and it's not sticky. It um, has a high shine formula, and it's infused with biomimetic peptide. It, it looks really good. You guys know I'm obsessed with these kind of shades, although I'm kind of like loving this color right now. This is really what my dreams are made of. Ooh, gooey. It has a very minty-ish kind of scent. Kind of similar to maybe like the Buxom glosses, and it doesn't seem glosses. Oh my god, this past weekend, Lee was like to me, say glo glosses. I'm like, glosses? She's like, glosses? That's how I say it. I don't know. Anyways, here's what the shade looks like. It's not as pigmented. It has a baby pinky uh, tint to it. So I feel like it would be great to wear on its own if you want like a sheer wash of color, but it would also really be nice to wear on top of a nude lipstick or like a pinky lipstick. I'm down. I am down for life with this. Ooh. Wait, okay, fine, yeah. So there's also a lip liner in here, which I think would actually go really well with that um, lip gloss. I'm so excited, this box is bomb. <laughs> this is the Jean de Bleu lip liner. An original value is five bucks. So not as expensive as I thought it was gonna be. Um, so I don't know if this is high end per se. No, it's not, it's probably more drugstore-ish, but this is a gorgeous color, oh my goodness. Kind of reminds me of like the Pat McGrath lip liner or like the Koki nude lip liner that Angela recommended to me. I love you. Um, I'm getting the same kind of vibe with this. It has a little bit more of like a cooler undertone to it, but also like a mauviness to it too. 
I can get down with that. And then the final product that's included in here is the Marvelous Mauves palette from Dose of Colors. This is basically the purple toned palette. So they have this one, they have a brown toned palette. And then here's what the back looks like. It's gorgeous. Um, the original value of this is 32 bucks. It says it's a five pan matte eyeshadow. I'm thinking, I used to own the brown one. I don't remember if I own this one. I don't remember if I owned it. It's possible that I did, so I kind of have it again in my life. Like, what does one do in that case? Like, I decluttered it, but now I have it again. And now I'm looking at it like, you look pretty good. You know what I mean? Okay, so I'm going to keep it. If I feel like I don't need it or I don't want it, maybe I'll give it to my sister. She'll probably like these kind of shades. Normally, I don't like these kind of colors just because I feel like I look really... I don't know what it is. I look weird in purple. Like, I just feel like I look dirty. <laughs> I'm not sure why. But... The shades in here are really pretty. They are very pigmented and I like that there's like a gradient effect as you guys can see. So I feel like if you're new to makeup, you can just literally follow, follow the leader. Like we can literally just use the lightest to the darkest shade and kind of build up the crease. And it's just so easy. I remember when I was starting out with makeup, I didn't know shit about how to blend or like what shades to pair. But this, I feel like they made it so easy for us, you know? They're very pigmented, gorgeous. Okay, so here are what the shades look like. These are with pretty much one swipe swatches each. Very smooth, just solid i am pretty excited to have it again in my life maybe this time i'll give it more love and really see like what it's about because i feel like the original one i use and i'm like nah but look at these shades for the full especially oh my goodness okay so i will say that this box was amazing i'm so happy with it i don't feel like it's recycled products i feel like they're newer products i think that they're products that a lot of people would get a lot of use out of and like even this like touch and soul product i feel like it's new to the game i don't know they did well. Lock the charm. Thank you. All right. Now let's get started with what is in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Like I mentioned to you guys, the Ipsy Ultimate was definitely a downer. So I hope, hope, hope that this is not crap because, you know, I still pay $25 bucks for it. And $25 is still $25. It's not cheap. Okay, so here's what's included and i don't know if i mentioned this but you guys probably already know in boxycharm and Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, we do get full-size products. Here's like a pamphlet. Oh, and it does say the prices of the products here. Ironically, it didn't say that for the Ipsy Ultimate. I did, I don't know why. And I was looking at the pamphlet like over and over and over again. I just thought that was weird. So I don't know. But now, yes, we do have the prices here. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing that's included is the Betty Boop bag. So I actually did receive this in the Ipsy Ultimate box as like a freebie situation. So I'm probably going to give this possibly to emma her birthday just passed and i want to give her more stuff so we'll see if she even likes this or she'll be like no don't give me that so we'll see um if not i'll just give it to my sister but it's pretty cute i do like it they did collaborate with betty boop for this month so it is exciting so that's just like the bag for the month the first actual product i see in here is the tarte chrome paint shadow pot this is so exciting i feel like they're like super saturated like one swipe situations <laughs> um cream kind of like eyeshadows so the original value of this is $22 and it's in martini I can like totally use a martini right now so like hey can I get a martini thanks here is what it looks like there's like a little stopper to it and this is I think I actually own one of these maybe I just didn't have a chance to play around with it but it's so pretty the formula is like nice it's a little bit thick but it's the kind of product that you would just have to dip in once and just use like that you don't have to kind of like keep dipping in that's what the shade looks like it's like a silvery grungy greenish beige color very unique very interesting all right next up we have the dr brandt microdermabrasion age defying exfoliator this looks really cool and the original vibe this is sorry what 79 dollars it's like a trip to the derm in a jar because it was developed by one. What does it say here? It says it's a smoothing blend of jojoba, chamomile, and aloe vera to help reduce redness. Wow, look at that glow. That's so cool. It says massage into the skin for one to two minutes, avoiding eyes, and then rinse. Damn, this looks really good right now. I feel like my skin has been looking like ass lately. So I'm not going to open it up just because I just need to finish off a few other like exfoliating products. But this looks amazing and I cannot wait to add it to my bathroom. I have tried a few other products from Dr. Brent. And Brent, yeah, that's how you say it. And I've had pretty good luck with his stuff. I think he has pretty solid things. Is it a guy who owns it? I'm not sure. Okay. Ooh. Um, next up. <laughs> this is the... Jules Smith Beauty Power Gloss Duo. Very, very cute. You see, this is what I'm talking about. I think we got a pretty good bag so far. So original value, this is 32 bucks. It says from jewelry to beauty founder Gina. Um Negrelli Smith knows how to shine. Um, so they're basically is a rosy gloss in here, and more of like a pinky shimmery gloss. And did I say how much the value is? 32 bucks for two. So it's about 16 bucks each. Not about. It's $16 each. Here are what the shades look like. Very pretty, full sizes. 
The packaging kind of reminds me of like Jeffree Star, like liquid lipsticks, and maybe Wet n Wild. This one right here is Namaste All Day. It's a nice rosy color. And this one right here is Serene Queen, which is a light baby pink with a nice amount of gold glitter. And they don't seem like they're gritty. They seem very pigmented, very smooth. I can get down with these colors, especially this one. Yummy. Next up, we have the Tristique Powder Stick. What is this? Oh, highlighter. So the original light of this is 18 bucks. It says for a subtle glow, sweep a brush over the stick and apply two high points of the face. Um, and the shade is an ultraviolet, which is more of like a purpley color, as you guys can tell from the name. Um, I haven't tried much from Tristique. I think I've tried only products that were included in BoxyCharm and Ipsy. This is so cute! I just had to show you guys the embossment. How adorable is that? I love it. I love it. Let's swatch. And the stars don't only get ruined. Oh, whoa. Whoa! I love those kind of shades. It's pretty cool. It has a very interesting consistency to it. It's more, it has a more of like a powder finish. It doesn't feel wet or like color poppy. You know what I mean? It's very cool. I don't know. And the packaging is kind of cool too. How much time did I just say cool? I don't know. All right. Then finally, the last product that's included in here is the Betty Boop X Ipsy Blush Palette. I actually got this in my Ipsy Ultimate box, so I'm not going to swatch this. I'll just go get my other one. Um, so give me a second. I have something to tell you guys also. One second. Okay, so here is what the blush palette looks like. And yes, like I mentioned, they did collaborate with Betty Boop for this month. And then here are what the um, blushes look like. Actually, this shade right here is more of like a highlighter or like a blush topper. I would say that these are nice. They seem like they have a little bit of like a powdery finish, but not like not too bad. And then here you guys can see what the shades look like. They are pretty light in tone. So I don't know if this is going to be universally flattering, but um, hopefully it is. Hopefully. Anyways, and that, well, that is pretty much it. That is everything that was included in my Ipsy Glam Back Plus as well as my BoxyCharm for the month of October. I will say that I think both were really, really good this month. It's so hard for me to choose a winner because I feel like they were both pretty good. I'm very happy. Ugh, don't do this to me. I feel like, okay. I, I feel like BoxyCharm won by 1%. So it's like 51% BoxyCharm and 49% Ipsy, but it's almost, almost a tie. I feel like they were both, again, fabulous, and I think this was money well spent. Uh, I just have a question for you guys. If you do have Ipsy Glam Bag Plus and then Ipsy Ultimate, how do you feel about them including like duplicates in like each box? Because like if you have both boxes, like I see that they included blush, the blush palette in both boxes, this bag in both boxes. So do you feel like you want completely different things, which I'm assuming you do want that? Or are you like, nah, it's fine. Or are you like, I'm not even signed up for both, so I don't really care. <laughs> well, let me know. Because I, I do have both and I'm kind of like, I feel like it's just a bit excessive. Like, you know what I mean? I want to kind of switch it up. That's just my, my point of view, I guess. I mean, I'm sure there are people who do get both boxes, so... For the ones that do get both boxes, how do you feel about that? Anyways, that is pretty much it. I'm looking forward to reading your comments down below. Please let me know what is up. I am waiting and I'll see you guys hopefully in tomorrow's video. I love you guys so much and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.